So it's just me. Sort of. Well, that dummy is over there. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to the Aaron and Krista show. I'm just Krista, Aaron's over here. Hello. Hi. Um, today, I'm going to do a how-to using the NYX Wonder Stick. It's not a brand new product, but it's something that I think we may have used, but have never actually shown you how to use, if that makes sense. Like we put it on, but never did a, I need to not look at her. I'm not over here. By the way. Any hoozlebots. All right, so clearly I have my eyes and my eyebrows on, but I don't have anything in my face. So I'm gonna start with a um, lighter foundation. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi today. Um, when you are layering a cream contour, you don't want to do a full foundation, a full coverage foundation rather, and then the cream contour because it's just going to give you too much weight and then it'll crease and crack and make you look old. Cake okay, face? Yeah, it just is not. That's not cute. So I'm going to start by doing that. Just globbing it on my face. All right. I'm kind of getting it all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna blend it out using the Real Techniques blending brush. And I, this is one of my go-to lighter foundations. I have been using the Maybelline um, Velvet, Dream Velvet, Velvet. Velvet, yeah. I've been using that a lot, but now that the seasons are changing and as the seasons change, so does your skin, it's starting to get weird on my skin. It's like sliding off. I don't know why that is, but it just is. So this is one of my favorites for um, a lighter coverage when I'm not wearing the my go-to, which is my um, double wear. So I gotta be careful because I already have my eyebrows on. Don't, don't fuck them up. Off. Yes, just like Aaron said, don't fuck them up. Okay, so now that that's all blended, I mean, it doesn't hurt to blend a thousand times in a row. You really can't just continuously go. All right, so so you have two sides to this, first of all. You have your darker side, and then you have the lighter side. This is the shade light medium. There's also a universal and a dark. Yes. Um, I've heard some people say that sometimes the light medium, the light is too dark, if that makes sense, but I think for me it's fine. Um, so. When you want to find the hollow of your cheek, there's a few ways to do it. For me, it's kind of easy to find because mine are pretty well defined here by this line. I have pretty high cheekbones. If you don't, though, you can take a brush or the handle of a brush and run it from the corner, kind of where, like, I guess your sideburn would be, for lack of a better term, to the corner of your mouth, and that's where it is. Or if you are still having a hard time, roll a brush down your face, and the minute you feel it go inwards, that's exactly where you want to be. The other thing you want to do is you want to do what they call the two finger rule is put two fingers in the corner of your mouth to here and you should not let that contour line go below that because if you do it's gonna make it look like you have jowls and nobody wants to do that. It's true. If you ever bring your contour too low it oh, makes right. this look like it's hanging over. I like a meat, healthy meat flap. Healthy meat flap, right? So we're <laughs> just right here. So again, so two finger. Just like that. See? Same on the other side. On the top of the forehead. And everybody has a different way that they like to do this, and I'm sure you've seen a thousand different videos and people draw patterns on their face and a bunch of other stuff. I also go under here because, you know, I have a double chin, double chin. I kind of look like a art pop thing right now, like that art pop girl. All right, and then I'm gonna go the outside of my nose. So you just want to go anywhere where you feel like you want to bring in more of a shadow to accentuate that area. I 
And then we're gonna take the lighter side and we're gonna highlight, I'm gonna go down the middle of my nose up into my forehead and then under my eyes and over like an upside down triangle. And this product moves around really well after you've kind of warmed it up. So if you feel like you have a hard time, kind of roll it, you can roll it in your hands or some people will grab it with their finger and then pat it and that's a good way to do it as well. But this is actually pretty warmed up. Like that. And then I like to do a little bit on my actual jawline to really accentuate my contour. My cupid's bow and under my lip and a little on my chin. So you can see all those places. And then once I put the light down, I sometimes like to just look and see if there's anywhere extra I can put the darker contour that I may have missed like a little bit more into my hairline over here and up here so like that it's a good look isn't it excuse me I have to take a selfie <laughs> well you gotta know what I'm doing <coughs> on the channel right She looks like a gremlin. She's looking at me. Hi. Did she look right into your Uh-huh. Oh, God. She stole my soul. She probably did. She was already looking pretty weird. Don't steal my soul, lady. Okay. Selfies are done. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to blend all this in. So when I, what I like to do is when I blend the lighter part of my contour, I like to use, when, and this is only when I'm doing cream contour, the lighter part of my contour, I like to use a dampen beauty blender. The darker part of my contour, I like to use a duo fiber brush, like something like this, because I don't want it to get muddled and I don't want to darken the highlight because of using all of the same tool. Plus, I think this blends out the darker better than this does. And that is because you want the light highlight to really kind of, you want to use a patting motion and you want it, the skin to really just kind of grab it and absorb it where you do want to blend out the darker. So we're just going to take this and you want to again use a patting motion. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender which is my favorite because I like that it has a flattened edge. And it's been thoroughly dampened. Now, cream contour is something that I would really only do for maybe filming or a photo shoot, something like that. This is not a day-to-day -day walk around the town looking like this because it's heavy. And in natural sunlight, it'll look a little heavy. So typically, I just use powder to contour my face. I like that. And you really just have to keep blending. And keep blending. And blend some more. And under the eye, if you're still having a hard time, you can use a pad of your finger because of the warmth of it. I'll help it kind of meld in there. Oh yeah. Now, I'm going to use the Duo Fiber Brush. This is the, this is a Real Techniques Stippling Brush actually. So I'm gonna use this and blend. And blend and blend and blend. And you wanna blend up. Don't blend this down into this part of your face. Or you're going to defeat the purpose of what you're trying to do. You 
you can see how it just gives a really nice, and the Wonder Stick is more of a natural kind of contour. It's not gonna give you as hard of a contour as say the um, Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. And I am gonna go over all of this with powder to set it and strengthen it. And then under the chin, All right, so now that I've gone over with the dual fiber brush and have blended it all out, you can see that this is pretty more on the natural side. So I'm gonna amp it up a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna set all of this highlight because it will crease. So I'm gonna use, this is the actually ELF High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It comes in a little deal like this. I found it at CVS, it's $3, heck yeah. And I'm using a MAC 225 brush. And so I'm just gonna go over anywhere I highlighted. Oh, there goes a motorcycle. Lots of traffic on a Saturday night because it's finally getting warm here in Michigan. And in here, this is where I get a lot of creasing. So I need Botox. And then in here. All right, so now I'm gonna go over anything that I contoured with the darker color. And I'm going to use the Lorac um, contouring brush. And I'm actually gonna use the Wet n Wild contouring palette. I really do like this a lot. This is a nice um, contour shade. It's kind of ashy, so it's not super, um, it's not too orange. I'm putting it on here, and I'm just gonna go over everything I just did to strengthen that line. You can see, and it'll look like it's gonna be really dark at first, but we are just gonna blend until our arms fall off to amp it all up. So if you wanted just a really light contour and you weren't looking to cut it too harshly, then yes, the just the Wonder Stick on its own is perfect. But if you do want to amp it up, which I do, then you would go over it with powder. Plus going over it with powder really sets it. And just using powder and not using the Wonder Stick, you won't get as long wear as you would if you layered them. Do the same on this side. You can really see how much more of definition you get by doing this. So anywhere we put that dark. I'm going to use a, this is actually an eyeshadow blending brush, this is the MAC 224, to do the side of my nose. Because if you use too big of a brush, you'll get that contour shade here, and you don't want to do that. Get a little bit more control with a smaller brush. Like that. Blend that up just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark. There we go. And then we're gonna go under the jawline. Very bright shirt this gentleman has on a bicycle. All right, so now we've really amped up that contour. It's like I give them all face all in new shape. So we're gonna put on some blush and a little highlighter. I'm gonna use a Milani Coral Cove. Becca Champagne Pop. So I'm gonna put the highlighter on first because then I feel like it really melts into the skin very nicely. So I'm gonna do that right on the tip, top part of my cheekbone. And around my eye a little bit like a letter C. 
So it just kind of gives a little extra to that area. And keep its bow. And I like to go right in where the nose goes in in the bridge of it. Right there. And a little on the tip of the nose. And a little bit above the brow. And then we'll go back with the blush. Just like that. And the very last thing you want to do when all this is said and done is you want to take a brush, a big fluffy face brush if you have one, and I thought I did, but I'm going to use this one. This will do for now. I'm just going to get the powder off of it. So this brush here, and I'm just going to kind of go over everything and blend it all together. Ta-da! And that's it. This is the face. Let me put some lipstick on. All right, so this is it. This is the complete look, and I hope you like it. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, leave us some comments and let us know what your favorite contours are. Cream contour, if you like the Anastasia Contour Kit, or you like the NYX, the palette, the cream palette that they have. It goes on and on and on. Stila has one. So let us know what your favorite cream contour is. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, if you want us to see, we want us to do a tutorial on any other kind of cream contour kits, also let us know. So comment below, like, and subscribe. Bye, friends. So this is our finished look. Beautiful contoured face.